Hey parents, Mr. Jim here to tell you why kids love learning with Osmo's Genius Starter Kit. Osmo uses real tangible pieces that look and feel just like toys, combining them with immersive digital experiences to create fun, whole child learning adventures. They'll have a blast with the Genius Starter Kit, playing games that explore math, reading, and more. Just in time for the holidays, get up to 40% off select kits and games. Order today at PlayOsmo.com. That's PlayOsmo.com. Osmo, learning well played. Hello, friends. It's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Well, this is part two of Luca and Jackson's adventure, and... Somehow they did not have good listening and obeying, and they went down the forbidden tunnel, and now they're looking eyeball to eyeball with a Nile crocodile. Are you guys ready for today's part two adventure? Me too. Let's go. Don't move a muscle, Luca, said Jackson. As these two tortoises were completely frozen solid, they didn't know what to do or where to go because there was a giant 12-foot-long crocodile standing in between them and their getaway tunnel to get back to their family. Luca! Jackson! Are you out there? Yes! Is that you, Grandpa? Yes, we're down here! shouted Luca. All right! I need you to listen closely. There is another tunnel just a little bit to the left of you guys. I need you both to carefully and quickly make it down to that tunnel. I will distract the crocodile from you. Go! And just like that, Luca and Jackson dove towards the other burrow that was down to the left of them. The Nile crocodile... Started moving towards them, but the grandpa tortoise stepped in the way. Get out of here, you old scaly critter. And just like that, the grandpa bumped the Nile crocodile with his giant shell, and that distracted the crocodile just in time for the boys to make it to the getaway burrow. Grandpa, we made it to the burrow. Are you okay? shouted Jackson. Oh, I'm fine. Just head down that burrow, and I will meet you there. I know a shortcut. Luca and Jackson were still very afraid of this whole incident and started walking down the trail that the grandpa had told them to follow. <sighs> Luca, you are so right, said Jackson. You shouldn't have ever gone down there. We're going to be in so much trouble, said Jackson. Boys, there you are. The grandpa had met them at their burrow, exactly where he had told them to go. Grandpa, we're so sorry. It's all my fault, said Jackson. I, I, I just have always wondered what's down the forbidden tunnel. No one has ever told me, but now I'll never go down there ever again. Well, boys, yes, that is why I never wanted you to go down there. But now that you know... You must hear the story. We have to go back about a hundred years ago to when this desert looked completely different. A hundred years ago? Shouted Luca. Oh, yes. A hundred years ago. Do you guys know how old I am? Well, actually, we don't. I've always wondered, but no, we don't, said Luca. I am a hundred and thirty-seven years old. And uh, this story goes back a hundred years ago. The desert looked completely different. Uh, there was grass and trees even. Our family used to live down by that river. When I close my eyes, I can go back there in just a second. Well, you see, it was one just very normal day. The whole family was gathered in the field up on top of the hill. I had gone down to the river to get some more water when all of a sudden that big scaly creature came out and tried to eat me and you see the scars on my shell here 
As their grandpa turned around, they could see giant scars in the shell. Holy smokes, how have I never seen those before? Said Jackson. Those are huge. Oh yes, they're big. Because the teeth on those things, they're pretty large. After he bit me and shook me around, I was cornered. I had nowhere to go. There were about seven Nile crocodiles surrounding me, and I had to start digging to get out of there. I dug and dug and dug until I finally was able to get deep enough to where they couldn't get me. And that is the tunnel that you just went down. I had to dig that tunnel to all the way to the other side to meet up with the family. We agreed to never, ever go back to that river again because that river is now owned by the Nile crocodiles. Wow! I... That's amazing! You're so brave, Grandpa! shouted Luca. Oh, well, I'm sorry that it took me this long to tell you this story, but I'm glad you boys are safe. And please, stay away from that forbidden tunnel. Oh, absolutely! We'll never go down there ever again, but thank you so much for telling us that story. That was amazing. Grandpa. Yes? Do you have any other cool stories like that? Oh, why, of course I do. You see, I've I've lived over a hundred years, and there's an adventure around every corner. Wow, that is insane. Can you believe it that their grandpa was able to escape Nile crocodiles by digging out a burrow? That is pretty impressive. And I'm pretty sure that Luca and Jackson have learned their lesson to make sure that they listen to their parents and their family when there's very important rules set up. Like, don't go down this tunnel because there's crocodiles over there. (laughs) But I also think that Luca and Jackson are just now starting to learn how cool their grandpa is. And I bet he's got a lot more stories for them up ahead. The end. Hey friends, I need your help celebrating a birthday. Drum roll, please. Happy birthday, Margo, who's turning six years old. Woo! Margo loves listening to Everything Mr. Jim enjoys arts and crafts and gymnastics. Wow, Margo, I'm so glad that we got to celebrate you and your big day on the show. Happy sixth birthday. Hey, friends, if you want to celebrate your big day on the show, have your parents check down in the show notes below to see how you can make that happen. Friends, I hope you have a super duper day and I'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.